Y'all, straight up, I was annoyed because my roommate asked me if I wanted to put up money for a vehicle after all I've done. Anyways, there have been promises that if I'm patient, I'll get taken care of. But at this point, I'm not waiting, baby. Don't stick around for a promise. You could be dirt broke, like dirt poor, and treat somebody better than somebody who has bread and treat somebody how they treat them. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not always about the money. Yes, it's very important, especially in today's time. But how you move, even when you don't have it to give, speaks a lot on your character, too. I'm not saying you have to give it, but just how you, you know, empathize, sympathize, whatever. Like, and for me, I just, I picked up, like, there's a lot of selfishness. There's a lot of self-centered energy around me. Not around me, or other people who are around me. And it seems like I'm the only one who is, like, making the sacrifices I make. You in the crib, secretly grinding at my parents' house for a month, playing with my pussy, was just on live for hours at a time all day just to get the spot in the first place. I see you with the car, I see you with a lot. So, you know, it's it's a, it's just a selfishness, for real, for real. And I know some people train themselves out of it, but I really do wish everyone the best on their journey. I don't want nobody to struggle. I don't want anyone to suffer. I want everybody to get their bag, to get their bread. Like this is the reason I post the helpful videos I do, or ho I'm hoping they're helpful. This is the reason I be, you know, so quick to share information with my friends, try to put people on. Cause it's like, I really do want everyone to win. There's enough space for everyone to win. If there's enough space for everyone to struggle, I know damn sure there's enough space for everyone to win. Okay. Like, especially if you have it in you, you got that drive, but I'm digressing. For me, it's just more so like, how much do you care about somebody that you're willing to do something in the moment to show that you care about them? And y'all, please do know I've had some of the most beautiful things done for me in the past by this person. But right now what's being asked of me is too much for me to handle. If I didn't have to handle all the car's finances by myself, and it's been almost a year, and I know this person can get bread because I can get bread and we're in the business of body and that makes money. You can hop on and make money off, you know, we can make money off each other at any point and not like each other, but together. We can make money together at any point. For me, it's more so like how strong is your hustle and, you know, not wanting to see the person you care about struggle. So it's like if I took on all the car's finances, I'm just a little bit surprised because it's like if I even had that stress alleviated, I probably would be able to get my car fixed now. So we don't need to look at the now. We, I'm looking at the past like, damn, that's how you left me. So yeah, but it's all good. I'm chilling. I'm about to work for a little bit. Watching YouTube. Yeah, just motivated. Watching Pretty Boys O or XO, uh, Michaela. I like her a lot. She a vibe. And about to play the Switch, edit, all that good stuff and just feel good because I feel good. So yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? It's a good night so far. So I posted a few reels that I was able to just sit here and do real quick while I was sitting here. And I found a really good song by a small artist. I don't want to, you know, limit them and say small, but they have like 6K. And I was like, wait a minute, this is an opportunity. So I made a reel. I was like, trending audios are cool. But I went ahead and tagged the artist and her song because it's a vibe. It's really good. So hopefully that reel can, you know, go viral or something like that and give her the exposure she deserves. But yeah, I'm sitting here watching YouTube. I just finished camming. For those of you who don't know, I made a separate video about this for my streets my series but for those of you who don't know i started putting a hashtag sph hashtag on my uh cam the site and basically that is like shaming people who want to be shamed for having smaller you know um and yeah it's always per request so i started doing that this is my third show so far i had somebody asked me about it they're like please shame me they're like make fun of me for paying hot girls like you online to sit here and shame me and watch me jerk off make fun of the way i jerk off i was like okay like whatever it's all paid so let me i gotta check my terms and condition on my campsite because i don't want to get in trouble but i to my knowledge is you know it's been working i'm still on it so we'll see and i also decided like a whole bunch of things first off me and my friend were talking i want to glow up like i really need to glow up the braids is cute i'm naturally pretty yes Ooh, not the chapstick on the top lip damn my bad y'all but I want to get back to like my old era while I was wearing these wigs, I was wearing contacts and I felt really cute. Like I still feel gorgeous. I love the natural style, but I know I could switch characters. Had a salad day. Yesterday was watching anime and eating tacos with a friend. Tonight, had a quick little session with my friend. We were just watching TV, drinking some fine ass sparkling uh, dark wine, like a red, dark red wine and eating salmon alfredo, which was like, it was such a vibe. And yeah, life's just been good. I've been trying to live in the moment and stuff like that. So yeah, just doing some shows. I'm live. I can't show you the screen. There are naked people on the screen. 
That's okay. They're all working. They're all in their little rooms. I love seeing the front page of the campsites because it's like everybody's really in their own like Barbie doll box. Well, not Barbie doll box, but they're in their own room and have their own unique aesthetic and whatnot. But yeah, I'm sitting here watching TV, getting on some vlogs and just feeling good, feeling good. My uh, ex-partner, you know, he went to go do what he needed to do. And so I am chilling, you know, doing my thing. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out the car thing soon and a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'm just feeling good. Feeling good for real, for real. Like good things are happening around me and I'm grateful to be a part of them and I'm just vibing. Challenging myself to hit 100K on Instagram. And it's funny because I think what happens is that I don't care, but I care to an extent. I care for the sake of, you know, gaining followers and becoming bigger and sending a message and inspiring people and sharing my story and my travels and my journey and all that good stuff. But I also don't care in a way that's like, I'm not pressed about logging online. I don't always want to share my life. I'm late with sharing my life because sometimes I just don't want to edit a post about it. I always don't want people in my business per se, even though I put a lot of my business out there. And sometimes I just, you know, I've been detaching from the internet, which is actually pretty cool. But I'm still very much here. Like, life is always a vibe. I share with y'all late and trust and believe that I share, you know, like a lot of aspects of my life. But i just been in the moment. So that's what you're seeing. If you see me gone, it's because I'm vibing. And just know I hope you're out here vibing with me too. Hey y'all, what's up? So instead of waking up and immediately hopping on my phone to scroll, I started making a list of my goals for the day or what I need to get done or what I would like to do. So I'm hoping that's a game changer. And yeah, cause you know, the first thing I do in the morning, I don't want it to be staring at a screen for the sake of social media and entertainment. I want it to be, you know, towards bettering myself. I made a list and now I have something to work towards the moment I woke up, but not overwork because you still got to relax and enjoy the day. And I put relaxing things on the list too. Simple stuff, take a shower, make a meal, because those are all accomplishments. They're little accomplishments throughout the day and you got to count them. Epsom salt baths and Tiger's Balm really be helping me get through my recovery phases. Whether it's the gym or my period, yo, this stuff brings heat, okay? Not me out here drinking coffee. <laughs> it's summer. My dad really helped me tow my car here. Like, he is different. I owe him a great Father's Day gift. I'm gonna work my ass off. And Christmas or whatever comes up first. That's different. Visiting your parents after you move it out definitely hits different. Y'all, I walked to the mall. I was graciously humbled. Went to go get myself some food, and then I went back to my fam's. I sent my dad 50 for helping me out, and he sent it right back, so... Uh-uh, don't change now. That's at 100, baby. That's at 100. Haha, <laughs> that was triple digits. Whew, guess who got her car back? Oh, baby. <laughs> Oh baby, oh baby, and all right, Ooh. I'm looking dusty. I borrowed one of my mom's shirts, which is not really my style, but we all see what we could. It didn't help. Anyways, y'all, I just got my vehicle back. If anybody around me watches my vlogs, they would know that, but since they probably don't, they don't need to know that. Ooh, I got my vehicle back. I got my apartment to myself, like, <sighs> my ex-partner slash roommate is staying with family for the sake of a ride and you know what for the sake of my car not getting run into the ground that's exactly where he is welcome to stay because you ain't pay a cent on it my baby you ain't pay a cent towards your girl stressing over it so oh yeah it's hot y'all it's hot shout out to my dad yet again he's been so helpful Whew, he's been so helpful. I got a full tank of gas. I got my vehicle up and running. They fixed it. I got my vehicle back. I just want to know I have the option. I don't want to be stuck in the house. I need to know I could go if I need to. Whew, best believe I'm hustling. I paid for it out of a cam check that I just got. I was supposed to go towards either rent or the IRS or whatever it was supposed to go to, but a good chunk of it went to uh, this so I can get my wheels back. But that being said, with the amount of money I owe on other stuff, Mmm. Mmm. If I'm blessed today, just say that. If I'm blessed every day, just say that. If I'm blessed every week, every month, every year of my life, just say that. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. 
oh my gosh i'm so grateful it felt really nice being able to swipe my card though off my cam check and pay for the car service i thought it was gonna be more it was like 300 or 250 it was 250 which was pretty good compared to my last bill and i couldn't finance because i still have a financing order out for the last thing that got fixed so hopefully this really is the last thing she got her oil chain she got some brakes and rotors and whatever fixed it felt really nice swiping my card and then it just going through for like 200 something at the register so i want to get to that point where i could do that more often and it's not surprising it's not like oh my gosh wow that's so great i could do that it's yeah i do that because i'm about my bag and i don't play about my grind but i'm about to head home y'all it's hot Whew. i was going to get my door handle fixed but that was 400 so we're not doing that um hello what Oh, we're not doing that? Okay, that's what I thought. Anyways, I'm gonna go home, y'all. I see who helped me when I needed it. I'm well aware and I'm moving accordingly, sweetheart. <laughs> mm. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm so happy. Like, you underestimate how much you need a car. I'm about to move somewhere with some trams and buses and something because 